So here, of course, it, I've gone back to the original menu again. It's giving me liters per hour. And of course, from here, if there was fuel and it's even running, it was going to give me further details. Okay. Now, going back to the menu again, I have this main menu talking about number one, the taco graph itself. Oh, let me go back. Then trip computer, heater timers, and all that. So if I continue scrolling, this is the taco graph, the gauges, maintenance. If I go into maintenance, for example, it will give me usage data. What about brake wear? vehicle data, vehicle messages, and all those. I should be able to retrieve them. Now, let me go to vehicle data. I acknowledge that is how much distance it has covered. The mileage, 24,866 kilometers. That's where it stands. And um, engine evolutions is telling me that this thing is packed, so it's not running. Uh, let me try to go back to the original one. I can scroll through again. Um, idle time. It even calculates the amount of idle time there. Fuel consumption. Yeah, this as long as the engine is running, we should have been able to see that. The distance covered and, and all that. Okay. Let me just try to go back. Let me just restart it so that it gives me the other data behind. Okay. Okay, so it's restarting. We'll go back and retrieve what we're looking for. And okay, stop the vehicle track brake failure. Again, I acknowledge. There's a gearbox failure. I acknowledge. There. In the system failure, gearbox failure, and all that. So once I'm done, I acknowledge these are there. Yeah. ABS malfunction, communication. Until I reach the last one, it will continue giving me a list of the various problems that are associated with this machine. So retard malfunction and all that. So the beauty with this one is that it will give the operator enough room to even know, give good details about a, a problem. And as a technician, when you come here, even before you bring in the tech tool, it will point to where things are not going okay from a start. But to dig now deep and get the actual details of where things are coming from, then you now need to plug in the scanner. So with onboard diagnostics, yes, you have somewhere to start from. They're not going to be completely without an option.